As of 2015, Pac-Man is officially a middle-aged man. 35 years ago, the most iconic of all video game icons was born. Initially released in Japan, this little yellow pizza puck has inspired generations of video game fans worldwide and is deserving of its royal treatment. Here's seven things that you didn't know about Pac-Man. If you learned at least one thing from this video, please leave a thumbs up. It was first released as Puck-Man. The original Japanese name Puck-Man evolved from the Japanese word Paku, meaning chump. Given the closeness to a certain four-letter English expletive word, a lot of arcade operators at the time were worried. They knew that Vandals would alter the letter P and make it an F. Eventually, Pac was suggested as an alternate name, hence the name Pac-Man came to be. If Puckman's name was changed by mischievous teenagers, this next fact would be totally appropriate. In a 2005 article in Hustler magazine entitled Bits and Pieces, you can find a bare-bottom Mrs. Pac-Man bending over the bed. In the next photo, she's spread eagle, presumably waiting for your, um, power pellets. Gentlemen, grab your joysticks. Is that a roll of quarters in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Uh, okay, that's enough arcade-themed sex jokes. Not sure what she's waiting for, though, because apparently Pac-Man only does it with Ghost. For making Pac-Man was kind of sexist. Apparently, Japanese arcades in the late 70s and early 80s were dark, dirty, and highly masculine places full of space-shooting video games. Pac-Man was created to combat these male-targeted arcade games like Space Invaders and Galaxian. And according to the game's creator, Toru Iwatani, women love food. So yeah, make a game about eating food. In an interview, Iwatani said, quote, I wanted to come up with a comical game women could enjoy, so I decided to theme a game around eating because after eating dinner, women love to have desserts." End quote. Iwatani, you dumb. The four ghosts are known as Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde. Iwatani stated that each ghost has a distinct personality to keep the game from being too monotonous. Blinky and Pinky are the predictable ones as they chase the player in the most direct way. Inky implements the ambush attacks, while Clyde is the most dangerous ghost of the bunch because his behavior is completely random. The four ghosts have a bunch of alternate names. One set includes Shadow, Speedy, Bashful, and Pokey. Another early set of names include Fickle, Chaser, Ambusher, and Stupid. Honey and a team of four were responsible for the creation of the game. Development took around 18 months, a pretty lengthy production time for that day and age. It ended up being the most successful arcade game of all time. You would think that the creator was an instant millionaire, but nope, he was working for Namco. And like many programmers and designers working in Japan at that time, he didn't directly profit from all the success. A fellow programmer that worked on the game said, quote, the truth of the matter is, there's no rewards for the success of Pac-Man. We were just employees. There was no change in salary, no bonus, no official citation of any kind." End quote. Pac-Man became the first ever video game to cartoon star, and he brought his family along for the ride. An animated television series produced by Hanna-Barbera ran between 1982 and 1983. The show follows the adventures of the title character Pac-Man, his wife Pepper Pac-Man, their child Pac-Baby, their dog Chomp Chomp, and their cat Sourpuss. By the way, Sourpuss was voiced by Peter Cullen, the same guy who does the voice for Optimus Prime. has a bunch of world records. In the 2010 Guinness World Records Gamers Edition, Pac-Man was named the most recognized video game character. Surveys concluded that 94% of Americans recognized the distinctive yellow ghost gobbler. In 2005, Guinness named Pac-Man the most successful coin-operated game title. And recently, fans in Tokyo set the Guinness World Record for the largest human image of Pac-Man. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video, and remember, if you learned at least one thing, please leave a thumbs up.